Welcome to Sound Vista Condominiums, nestled on the hillside up behind Seahurst Park in Berrien, Washington. This complex comes with a cabana, with a full kitchen, overlooking the swimming pool. Also included in the cabana area is a sauna and hot tub. You can learn more about this complex Sound Vista at www.soundvista.info. Welcome to our building 1227, unit number 721. We're going to be going up those stairs. We are on the, located on the second floor. But just to give you an overview of the building, there are nine units here nestled up against a little green belt. Heading on over, we're just gonna go up those first two flights of stairs. It's about 14 stairs to get to 721. Standing here looking out into the parking lot where we just came from, where the white car is parked, is one of the parking spots assigned to this unit. I like that it has a metal screen door so that you can open your interior door and still have a locked door and get nice cross ventilation. I think that's important in condominiums. All right, here we go. Let's go on in. We do have an entrance, a foyer, with a coat closet. And looking this way down that direction is the living room on the view side of the property. But first we're gonna go down in this little corridor here to the bedroom wing. First stop is the hall bathroom. Updated beautiful floors, cabinetry, and just recently new subway tiles were installed. Those look really striking against this periwinkle paint, I think. Accents are done with brushed nickel. Lots of storage in the cabinetry. And here's the first bedroom. Those windows we saw as we approached the building, that's where we are. See all the trees that are not leafed out? Come summer, those are beautiful. Full closet, nice lighting. Now we're back into the ensuite. Here is the bathroom. Again, new flooring, cabinetry. That's a fun mirror. Brush nickel, lighting, and ceramic tile surround. Nicely done. So now we'll step back out and head on into the master bedroom. Plenty of room in this room for a king size bed and dressers. Amazing. Big windows let lots of light in. Again, trees that are going to add to the privacy of this complex or of this unit, should I say. Here you go. Nice big closet. Going back out to the hallway that would take us to the living room or to the door that we came in, here is a feature that most condominiums do not have, a huge closet. It's not necessarily a coat closet, it's whatever you need it to be. You could add some shelves and even put in um, small appliances to be stored for the kitchen. Okay, now we're at the living room. Look at this space. It's a lovely light blue color in here. It just feels very beachy to me. Wall-to-wall um, -wall carpeting, nice plush carpet. I wanna peek through the blinds here with you and let you see the view that we have. Can you imagine what the sunsets would be like? There's a little sliver of water just over the rooftop there. Just a peak view for this for the winter because during the summer everything has leaves on it. Of course, then you appreciate the shade. Another view, this is from the other window. You can even see the mountains way out there on a clear day. Nice, serene, quiet complex. You even have a little opportunity to step outside on your private balcony. Very sweet. It is covered by the balcony above. 
but I dare say that on a rainy day, it would be a little bit wet. All right, back inside, here we go. Dining room, look at another big window. That's why this place is so bright and cheery, even on a dreary day. Light fixture, br brush nickel as well, keeping a theme. Kind of look back to the living room from where we came. So here is our galley kitchen. New flooring, newer cabinets, Corian countertops. She made sure the cabinets went all the way up to the ceiling so that you'd have plenty of room to put anything you need in there. New sink, newer dishwasher, nice quiet one, stainless steel inside. There is a built-in pantry here on this edge. And then we've got a newer microwave, electric range, Corian counters, and look at all the drawers on either side, that's great. And refrigerator. Headed back to the entry, there's that coat closet we saw coming in. And here is where the laundry room is located. This is a large laundry room for a condominium with, look at the cabinetry. Water heater is electric. Washer and dryer do stay. Vinyl flooring. I'm not sure that she'll be leaving the hooks. I don't know for sure. We'll have to ask. All right, so here we are outside the building showing you the carports that are underneath in the back. Ours is the second floor there. Coming down, the set of balconies in the middle. Our, our parking space is number 94, right underneath those balconies. And if you walk straight ahead, you'll see the stairwell that you can take. And it's the same stairwell that we used from the other side of the building to go up to our condo. So it's nice that you can just come down the same stairwell and end up right at your car. That's pretty cool. At the far end of the building, on this end, where the second set of stairs are, this is where your storage unit is located. Number 721. It's nice to have a space that you can put things that you don't want in the condo. condo. It is L-shaped, kind of comes around the corner and there's room to store some things in the back corner as well. You could add more shelving, organize it. Nice to be able to have a place to put your outdoor furniture. So that park is that direction, Seahurst Park. These are the stairs that go down past the last two buildings into the trails that lead to the park. It's a hike, but it's a very nice hike. Um, lots of people use it, but it'll take you all the way out to Puget Sound, which is just delightful. This is a wonderful park. Or if you'd rather drive, obviously you could do that. This gives you an idea of where, what the hours are. So here we are. Thank you for coming. I appreciate the opportunity to show you this great condominium. If you have any questions, please give me a call or give me an email. Have a wonderful day.